Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 11 of my 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 Let's Play series. So, we survived Horde Night. Everything was hunky-dory with that, which is fantastic. Thank God. It could have been so much worse than what it was. Uh, I have actually done some things to the Horde Night base off camera. But I spent the first couple hours of the morning doing it. Um, all I did was just add some catwalks pretty much all the way around the outside for now. Uh, I've got to, I would like to upgrade these to iron at some point. At the moment, they're just all wood, but... Uh, yeah, this just means we can actually shoot down on top of the zombies. As you can see, there's like little holes in it, but we can stand on that. The only gap we will fall through is this front one here. So I've got to take out that front edge of the building and... Um, just break all that, and then we'll be able to, we should be able to just walk along that, no problem. We'll be able to, be able to fit another catwalk behind it. So I just want to at least upgrade some of those to iron to make sure that the whole thing doesn't collapse on me, but it should be fine. It, sh it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope. So we're going to go over and do this quest. So we get thir 1350 juke coins. This one actually gives me a little bit more XP. Mm. Okay, so we got two, two on the books so far. We got one out here and one that's all the way out that side of the map. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, is a mini bike possible? Do we have the means to make a mini bike? Uh, Grease Monkey. Mm. Mini bike. What do we need? Um, you know, we might have those materials, maybe. Let me have a look. Because I feel like it's time to upgrade to the mini bike at this point. The bicycle's done us well, but I feel like we need something a bit better. There's that. There's that. Um, what have we got in the way of iron? A bit more. Uh, let's grab some wood out if I have any. Yeah, I do. Good. Good, good, good. Also, sorry, just woke up. So, uh, yeah. I might sound a little bit awful voice-wise, or I might sound way better. I don't know. Uh, so we need forged iron. How much do we need of it? Oh, we need two wheels. Do I have any wheels? I have one wheel. I can make another wheel, though, probably. Mm, oil, coal, bottle of acid. Coal. Oil. Bottle of acid. Scrap polymer. Perfect. Let's get a wheel started. I don't know how much forged iron I'm going to need. Like, I obviously don't know the totals off the right off the top of my head from just looking at this, but... I'll need some glue and... Is it bones? For the duct tape? Cloth fragments, the bones, or if you want to make glue. There we go. Uh, how much duct tape do I need? Mini bike. Four there. None there. None there. Oh, okay, so I've got enough. Good. Very, very good. Need a little bit of that. Need a little bit of that. Need a little bit of that. We'll just grab them, like I'm just grabbing them sparingly. I'll swap that for that. We'll obviously go the higher tier battery if it's possible. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. And that. I think that's everything. Maybe. We'll just flick through the menus and make sure we've got it all. You know. Uh, yep. Nope. No electrical parts. And got all that. Okay. 
Electrical parts are there. I think we've done it. I think we've I think we've got enough for everything. I believe. Uh, let's just put oops, some of this iron in here and let that smelt up. Let that do its thing for a little bit, and we'll head over to the metal works where the work workbench should be. Hope it didn't. I hope that didn't change the workbench being there because we had to reset it for a quest earlier. I hope that's not the case. Because if it was the case, that would suck, big weenie dude. Big big weenie. No, it's still there. All right, good. Got the wheels on me. Yeah, I know. Good. Fucking hell. So they definitely up the animal spawn rates to the point where yeah, they're scaring the crap out of me a lot more often. Like a lot, a lot more often. There we go. Oh, nope. There we go. No, it's destroyed now, you piece of dog shit. Oh my god, I'm so angry. What do we need to make it ourselves? I don't want to use my only claw hammer for that. Oh, I can make another one. Oh, fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, dude. I enjoyed the fact that that had a workbench. I should... Oh, man. It only occurred in my head that maybe that, that chance changed when the, quest re when the quest reset that whole little area. And unfortunately, that seems to be the case. Give me a quest to reset the trader so he might actually have one. Prick. Tight ass. Can't even have a workbench in his shop. Massive tight ass. Alright, uh... Hmm, okay, you know what? Let's do that, because then it's going to be a better one anyway. And then let's get this, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, you know what, we'll do that first. Four minutes! Oh, for God's sake. Do you have a workbench to buy by chance? Oh, we wouldn't be able to afford it anyway, actually, now I'm thinking about it. We're too, we're too poor. I uh, see your inventory workbench. No. Do you have a cement mixer? No. Unless you've got it in here. Nope. Alright, well, I guess while we're crafting this stuff, we might as well go do this quest. There's really nothing stopping us now, is there? Let's do that. Do I have any water on me? Apparently not. So it's definitely like having the more animals has definitely made the food situation a little less annoying. That's for sure. Um, which a lot of people like and a lot of people don't like. I mean, I, I preferably enjoy it, but I can also understand why some people may not. Mm hmm. What am I doing? I'm grabbing... Might as well just actually, might as well just grab some murky water, because then that means we're not going to waste a bunch of boiled water. That'll do us. We'll get the full hydration, and then we'll go do this quest while we wait for this workbench to craft. Um, I might grab a little bit more forged iron out. Hopefully I will have enough to still do the mini bike parts without having to craft some more stuff, but we'll see. Now, let's also try not to die with all this stuff, if possible. I would prefer that not to be the case. I would be very upset if we were to die because of this. And we've got to be super duper careful out here now because the animal spawns have been increased. That also means an increased risk of bears. Like, you can see there's uh, quite a few trees that have been mined out here. So the first thing I did before I did the catwalk was I had to get some wood to make the cat... Or the, the like, the, the wood bars, right? So I went out here and 
started chopping timber and there was a bear that I had to put like 20 rounds into to kill. So that could have been extremely awful had I not had an AK on me. Where is this exactly? I don't even see it. Okay, it is out here. Why am I going that way then? I might as well cut across this way and get up to that road. I'm trying to go the probably the longest possible route to get there in the world. So we'll just go this way instead. Oh, hello. You can just keep chasing me forever. I guess. You'll probably show up at my house eventually, though. Also, this may be one of the worst rendered roads ever. And I should switch to this. I've basically got no ammo left in the AK now, so I really shouldn't be having it out to use. So that's something we've also got to start trying to work on, which I guess... I oh, fucking... Which I guess I need the workbench for anyway. Uh, is being able to craft ammo. It's way... If it was straight across the street, I guess it makes sense to... Have the workbench, but it was up the road a bit, so I'd have to keep bouncing back and forth. So making my own one is definitely the way to go. It was just I was trying to hold off on doing it for a while. But I guess when the work, the only workbench you had and that fucks off, then you don't have much choice. By the way, that was a wolf up there, so that's cool. That's always good. The weird part is these wolves seemingly can't kill the zombies. Like, a lot of the time, the zombies win. Right, our workbench is complete too. If you look at mini bike. I have enough for that. I should have enough for that. And I have enough for that. Okay, good. So when we get back, we'll still be able to craft it. I don't want to put the workbench down now over here because then I lose half of the stuff trying to pick it up. I don't think I can just straight up pick it back up, can I? That's something I am unsure of. Actually, you know what? Oh, no, nah, screw it. We'll clear this first. And then we'll do it. We're already here now. There's another bear roaming. God damn. Maybe them raising the bear chances aren't necessarily a good thing. Although in the older alphas, I remember bears being a pretty prominent figure. I did some seven days to die live streams in alpha 16, I think. Or 17, and I remember there being zombie bears in the first four days of the ga of the, the game. So. Oh, it's not this big bastard, is it? It's, oh, okay, it's a cemetery. That's fine. Also believe in those construction sites, if you look there. In one of the bottom rooms, there's a bear that spawns. Or at least I've had one spawn there. Hello, Cindy Luhu. Hello, Cindy Lou. So you know what? This would be a good time to use our compound bow. That's what I was looking for. Couldn't find it. Here we go. Zombie over there, zombie over here. They sit up in here. There's one in there. Yeah. They sit up here. Sneaky bastards. They wait for you to open the bag and then they drop down on your head. That was a potato seed. Oh, thank the Lord. Mm, probably going to wake him up. Nope. Don't know why. There's no real particular way reason I'm doing this stealthy. I figured, you know, we might as well just try. Is this locked? It is unlocked. Oh, biker man. Oh, 
Oh, some bullets. That's nice. Oh, I love it when you call me Big Mama. Get out of here. God, we gotta actually clear the areas down here, it's a pain. There'll be a few down here, so we're just gonna go loud. We're not gonna sneak around down here. Oh, hello. I don't like you, you're, you're annoying. You flail your arms around all the time, so you get really irritating to deal with. Okay, more padded armor that I really don't want, but thanks, I guess. Sucks to be your dude. Any more? Yep, more down here. Alright, let's just do that. Oh, now we get combat music. The game was like, we detect two zombies that are mad at him at the same time. We better initiate combat music. Come on. Oh, fuck you, you fucker. Thank God we have a shoddy. This just makes it so much easier. More ammo. That's great. Oh, no, there's another one back here, huh? Oh, what's up? Ooh, shotgun messiah crates. I didn't know these were in here. Got a bandage. Out of all the potential things, bow parts. Search weapons bag. Ooh. More parts. You're joking. Oh, that's all that's all good stuff. That's all good stuff. What's the book? No range of fantasy is complete without raining fire from the sky, craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Not gonna complain with that. Hmm, shamway sandwich. What is this? That is a wall safe that is locked. Uh, I think we have lock picks on us. We can try it. See how we go. Nope. Oh, for God's sake. Please. Three of them gone. Four of them gone. Took five. Not really worth it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta take your chance at the lottery, don't you? But this definitely was not really worth it. Is there more coffins? There is in the center. Ugh. I like the ammo I'm getting out of them. This is good, because now I at least actually have... I have enough for a, a mag and a half or so. Or mag... Yeah. Yeah, mag and a half. All right, it sounds like there's a few boys outside waiting for me, but I'm not going to be too concerned with those. I'll let them destroy the place for all I give a shit. I'm not here to stick around. I'm here to get back to my place and put down my workbench so I can make my mini bike. Right? Oh, there's a chicken. Hello. Get out of here, Karen. We weren't designed to be friends, Karen. We were just not meant to be together, Karen. We were not. I wouldn't be able to put up with your bullshit on Twitter. I could not handle that. But that doesn't mean you have to come back after you die and that as a zombie and try and fuck me up. All right, well, I'm going to head back to the house anyway. Okay, we're going to kill this bear for its meat. Shit. 
Jesus. Right, only had to put 25 rounds into the prick. The bodies are real jiggly in this as well. Animal bodies, a lot of them now. Oh, would you go away? I'm trying to cut up my bear meat over here, man. And you also get testosterone extracts out of this, which, you know... A nice to have too. There's some crafting recipe you can use them for. I can't think of what it's called though. Uh, testosterone. You make steroids out of them. And cigars. So, part of why I want it. Okay. We are back at the base. What, whatever if you want to call it much of a base, but it's a base I guess. Let's get a land claim block. So if my memory serves me correctly, the land claim block is what allows you to pick up the workbenches and stuff, which we're going to want to be able to do in case we end up moving. So we're going to be able to need to do that. So let's make ourselves a land claim block. Uh, let's get also... We can get some bacon and eggs going. I think I have enough for one more. Yep, I do. Do another one. Do I have enough time left? No, I don't. There we go. That'll definitely do it in a bit. Do it and then and then some. Um, and let's sell this star. Uh, you know what? It might sell better to the tier two trader. I don't know whether that affects trader prices at all. Something else, actually. That's something I probably should do. I should put my barter up. Let's do that. Spend a couple points on the barter. And let's just put our land claim block really anywhere. Um, it's a decent size radius. As long as it's within our base limits, then we just... What? Oh, it's too close to the trader. Get fucked. Really? 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 You're joking. Why? Is it just because of the trader? Bullshit. Well, let's see. As long as that still fits within our base limits, then I don't care if, um, if that's the case. That doesn't bother me. No, it doesn't. Um, what about if we make another one and see if we can put it a bit closer this time? I don't know. How do I go about picking it up? Actually, can I just remove? Okay, that just straight up breaks it, it seems. That's great. Let's just sell that. Come on, land claim block. Another one. Move it along here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, what about if we put it at the back here? Well, let me place it back here. No. Oh. Mm, here. Okay, that may get all of our base in it. Unfortunately, I can't tell from down here. Even if it gets the back half, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just put it in the back half, I guess. Oh, it just doesn't get the forge, though. We'll put the workbench down back here anyway, so that should be... It should be pick upable. Yeah, okay, good. All right, let's get our mini bike now. Let's do that, and then that. And then we'll have our mini bike. It's good stuff. And let's eat too, because my guy's just going to be complaining the whole time. Oh, I need food. And let's go hand this trader quest in as well. That'll be good enough. I've got the purifier mod on, I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to get very sick. Get off the ladder. I was stuck to it for a moment there. Hey, what's going on, Bob? It all prices are 
fair here. Hmm. I mean, prices being fair is debatable. I have a thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. Uh, again, I do. Like I said a couple episodes ago, I'd do it for anyone. As long as they're going to pay me money and give me stuff, I probably would. Would not give a damn. Would not give even the slightest of shit. Okay, let's see. It's nearly done. We got one part so far. I guess we might as well just quickly sort inventory. That, that is a weapon. Yeah. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Oh, I got two of them? What? How would I get the second one? Put our money away. Uh, and then that, that, that. Put those away too. I'll sell those later. Medical stuff. Put those away for a moment. I can always grab them as I need them. Uh, where am I putting mods and stuff? Here. Yeah. Along with that. Okay. Now, mini bike itself. Let's do it. Boom. Another minute and 12 seconds, but we've got a mini bike. Hell yes, dude. Now I can put all this stuff away. I must have found more duct tape. I swear I didn't take that much with me, but maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, testosterone extract can go... It's probably more medical than what it is. Uh, food. So let's put that away in there. More military armor parts. I probably could nearly make a full set of military armor at this point. I'm getting there, at least, if I'm not already there. Put those away. I might as well keep that with me. Rad remover mod. I can go in there. Uh, potato seed. Potato seed can get plantated. Yes. Oh, these are all grown. Let's harvest these up. Nice, we got a couple pumpkins. Recipes. We can make a jack o' lantern. We need five of them to make a pumpkin seed. We make pumpkin bread, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin pie. If we learn the, the things to do so, at least. Hell yeah, brother, I got a mini bike. Uh, I need fuel, which is probably in here. Mini bike, mini, mini, mini bike, mini bike. No, 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 mini bike. No, 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 no. Give me that. Give me my normal bike. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh. Refuel it. La da 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 da. Mini bike. No 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 no. Hey, we got a mini bike. Hell yeah. All right. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. But if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Seven Days to Die in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!